Hi, this is Gali Gopharm and welcome to my health coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, the quote of the day is, you cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. It's by Jim Rohn. This quote is so down to earth. We really can't change where we are overnight. Still, in one minute, in one decision, we can choose a different, better direction for us. So how do we make this change in direction? Well, the first step towards any change for the better is exposing the behavior that we currently have. So if we take eating as an example, uh, we must first expose ourselves to our current eating patterns. Now this may sound a little bit strange because we are choosing our foods day in and day out. So what exactly do I mean by exposing our current eating habits? Well, exposure is exactly the right word uh, because most often, and I'm talking about over 95% over of the time, we choose our foods unconsciously. We are not really aware of the choices that we are making and we are doing them absolutely automatically. So the first step is to realize how you are currently eating. When are you eating most of the time and what are you eating most of the time and what inspires your food choices and the food times that you are eating. This awareness will reveal a lot to you. Now you can do this for any field of life. It doesn't have to be just what uh, it doesn't have to be just about the foods that you're eating. It can be about anything, your financial status, your relationship status, anything really that you want to change, any kind of behavior. So the second step is to determine what you want instead of the existing behavior. What is the ideal behavior for you in this field of life that you would love to have? For example, would you like to eat healthy foods and to know which foods are the healthiest for you to eat at all times and to always have these foods available for you? Now, the next step is to imagine what your reality will look like when the new and desired behavior becomes your habit, your default behavior. For example, you will have great days without focusing on food, but rather having the time and energy to focus on things that are very important for you and make you happy, and so on. So the next step may sound surprising for you. Still, it is a crucial step for changing any unwanted behavior. You want to look at your current behavior that you want to change and determine why you think in the past you chose to behave in this way. Now, most of our internal behaviors were acquired either through genetics or during the early years by looking at and copying significant people from our early years. For example, our parents, our siblings, uh, other important uh, adults that were around us at the time we were growing up, our caretakers, teachers, anyone who influenced us. Now, you can think about how these behaviors served you at the time, why you chose these behaviors, how they had a positive impact on you in some way. Maybe you were eating a lot because you knew that it would help you grow well, or perhaps you thought that your current eating habits will help you become strong. These could have also been told to you by your parents or any other people that were influencing you. Whatever the reasons were at the time you picked up these habits, they usually, uh, usually at a time from age zero to age seven plus minus, these were real and relevant positive motives that led to this behavior once upon a time. Now, so it's time to figure out what these positive motives were that led to you to believe that these habits were good for you at the time. Now, this is very important because then you know that you did something out of a place of love for yourself but at, at the time. But as we know, things change in life and cir circumstances change, and now the behaviors that once served you are no longer relevant. 
So now you will come to understand why you chose this previous behavior and you will respect yourself for caring for your needs at the time. And in order to care for your current needs, you also understand that you need to change your current behaviors to match your current needs, goals, and circumstances. So here you are actually forming an agreement with yourself to be responsible for caring for your new needs. And this is what you will be telling yourself whenever it is time to make a choice with regard to what you wish to change. Now, there are, uh, these are the steps uh, to changing behaviors in any field of life that do not serve you anymore. You understand that your old behaviors must be replaced by different behaviors that serve your real and current goals that you set out for yourself earlier in this video as well. Now, even though previous behaviors came from a place of self-love, now changing these behaviors also comes from a place of self-love. So now let's get into the implementation step. In order to implement any new behavior, it must be embedded in the subconscious mind, which will be responsible for its implementation. Now, to do this, it is vital to hypnotize your mind through visualizations, repetition of affirmations, and control of your thoughts, which I will cover throughout these coaching videos. Slowly, slowly, these implementation practices will help you make the necessary changes to allow you to have major progress in your life in this coming year. Now... As I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer you get will help you move your life towards a better place for you. So the question of the day that you do want to ask yourself is what are the behaviors I hold that are no longer relevant for my current situation? And what is the positive aspect that made me form this habit previously? And why is it no longer relevant to my life? So uh, this is what you want to ask yourself. Today, uh, you want to ask yourself, what are the behaviors that you are holding that are no longer relevant for your current situation? And what are the positive aspects that made you form this habit previously? And why are they no longer relevant to your life? So... As always, I recommend writing the question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these co coaching sessions. In fact, there is a lot that I covered in this short coaching video that you may want to write down so that you can have it handy for making changes in any other field of your life. Now, the affirmation of the day is, I grow in strength with every forward step that I take. I grow in strength with every forward step that I take. So you are becoming stronger through better choices for yourself. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with uh, repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently for a better, happier life for yourself. So... Thank you very much for joining me here today. If you like this video, you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And you may also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com where you have lots of programs and um, books to help you move your life and your goals with anything to do with wellness uh, to where you would like your life to be. Thank you very much for joining. Mm -hmm.